What motivates us is that we can basically take an idea and design it for someone to use. In this case, something that could impact over a billion people, that, that's amazing. We did a lot of work in wind turbine technologies and renewable energy, so we knew we could come up with some type of wind turbine that could be collapsed down. That's when we developed the first collapsible wind turbine, the WISP. You can use this power as long as you need to for communication, navigation. We knew we could design a wind turbine that could collapse down, but we had a series of design criteria that we needed to hit. It had to be durable, lightweight, easy to use, and cost effective. We were going after military operations. Then we started looking into the campers and hikers, outdoor recreation. Then we started looking into disaster relief. Developing countries, they have two major hindrances, clean water and energy. So if we could supply wind turbines to these areas, we can now provide small amounts of energy for people in these locations. Ideas are the easy part. The big obstacles are going from an idea to a product to market. Once we got Fusion 360, we are now able to collaborate through the cloud. What we're able to do is upload files and work on them from anywhere. I can track versions to see what people have modified. We can comment on each other's work. We'll use Fusion 360 to communicate with the manufacturer. Before Fusion 360, we'd take the model directly to them and show them. Now I invite them to the project. I open it up as an animation to really understand how each piece works together. We can render things to look photorealistic and send these off to investors or people interested in buying the product. We're building something from nothing. That's amazing. You're basically taking an idea you had in your head, putting it into a model, then testing it and taking it to market. I don't know what's better than that.